Okay, it's Juanito and George. <laughs> it's been a minute. We haven't hung out in a while. But anyway, so I was telling George about some of the crazy laying on hands uh, things that have happened. And George was a recipient. Of, how long has that been? Man, it's been a while, right? It's been, what, what like two three, years? Two and a half, three two years. Two and a half, three years, yeah. So, yeah, so George used to have, he had an incurable uh, situation. He he used to just start, like, going, Johnny, I feel like his, his head would feel like ants, right? Yeah, like an anxiety attack or panic attack or some type of deal like that. And then his whole body, his whole brain would just shut, shut off. Shut down, reset. And, yeah, he would, so he would pass out a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, I'd and pass out a lot. So sometimes he had to pull over on the side of the highway. That was a rescue mission one time. Or... Uh, yeah, that was one time. Uh, I had another time over there on Stone Oak. Uh, like, I ended up pulling into a bank that I was going to a job. And uh, and the job wasn't even on Stone Oak. But somehow I ended up on Stone Oak up the street from the hospital and pulled into that bank. And the people there, I guess, had called the ambulance and everything. I don't I don't recall what pulling happened? over yeah. anything. Uh, I remember being in the ambulance with the lights on and stuff. It was just crazy. So, because he would basically go like this. I mean, I've been with him in public before, like in, you know, restaurants or something, grabbing food. When we're doing construction, we'd stop in sometimes restaurants, grab lunch. And he'd say, Johnny, it's happening. And I'd run him to get, try and get in the bathroom as quick as possible yeah. and get him set down because he was, he was always, he always passed out. Always it was done. like guaranteed. Once he felt that, feeling yeah, once most he definitely once he had this certain uh feeling and he would always say oh it's here it's here and then yep. right after that pass out didn't matter if he was driving if he was wherever he was it was gonna happen right yep. where whatever i was doing so then <laughs> <laughs> so i had prayed a bunch of times and i'd say lord please let me lay hands on george please and i would pray for him and over him but one day we we're coming home from a job and we we're turning down the street to my house and George was like Johnny it's gonna happen so I went like this because I didn't when I pulled in my driveway I didn't want him to hit the dash or nothing so I pulled in I was like don't worry George and I pulled in the driveway and and then uh, I put it in park and he goes yeah it's happening and I looked over at him and then all of a sudden I said man dude I am buzzing so hard and so I get this uh, electrical charge and I started just <laughs> And I go, George, I'm going to lay hands on you. And I prayed and I laid hands on him. And it was like that lady on that city bus where, <laughs> when I told her, peace be still. And then she, I said, I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. That lady flew back against the seat in the city bus. Well, when I prayed over George, it was like I got zapped in the chest. I went, boom, and I hit my seat so hard. I was like, oh. And, I, and then I, I couldn't, like, get up off the seat. And all I could do was go like this. And look over at George, and tears were coming out of my eyes because it, it was such a whopper. It just was like just, Gah! and I was just like, oh. And I look over at George, and George's face is about right here. And he looked like an owl. <laughs> He's all, what is it? And I'm like, oh, what? He's like, I didn't pass out. I didn't pass out. Yeah. So is that sound right? Yeah, most definitely. That's so, exactly. So he bails out of the car. He's like, man, 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 I didn't pass out. Yeah. He's on the phone instantly, but. That was like, I don't know, maybe like three years ago, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, well, it's so crazy. It was like, I remember, because uh, I think we left there and we ended up over by like a storage place. Yeah, because I ran out of gas. Yeah. You guys had just left. So the, the whole incident happens. George leaves and I'm leaving at the same time. I'm getting on the highway, but I see his car on the highway and I'm, I'm running out of gas and I had enough gas just to coast off the highway and into this storage unit. And then George, I, George comes around to give me and, 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 he, and, he, and he says, man, this is crazy. I can't explain what it's like. And yeah. he went and he opened the back of his Suburban. And I pulled out, a, I pulled out my jacket. I pulled my jacket on and I was like, bro, this is exactly how it felt. I grabbed my jacket and I just threw it off. That's exact. Yeah, like, that's exactly how it felt. So he like, grabbed his jacket out of the back of a suburban, and there I'm sitting out of gas, and he pulls up, and he's like, "Dude, I, you know what that felt like? Let me show you." He opens up the back of the, the suburban. <laughs> he puts on his leather jacket. And I'm like, "What's he doing?" And then he goes, "It felt like this," and he just 
threw his jacket off like <laughs> he peeled it off and threw it on the ground he goes that's what it felt like and then i remember this i look up and i heard the lord say look up 555 because that was the address yeah the address, the address was 555 and i'm like what do you mean look up 555 and it means to shed and to cast off yeah remember yeah, i remember that <laughs> testimony from george true yep most definitely true. all right there it is awesome testimony all right guys cool